Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and to another advent unboxing for 2024. In today's video, as you can see, we have the MAC Beauty Advent Calendar. I'm so excited for this one. This will be the third year that I picked up the MAC Advent Calendar and it's becoming one of my faves. So the design for the calendar is always incredible. This year they've gone for this really gold shiny design, very reflective again. Last year we had like a little book design and as you open it like there was a snowflake. The year before we had like a spinning like hat box kind of shape in red. So it's always like a wintry Christmassy colour. This year we've gone for gold. And yeah, this is the box that it actually arrives in. So this isn't actually the shape of the calendar, but I thought we could unbox it together. So this calendar comes in at £180. It's a 24 day advent calendar and the contents inside are worth £455. Now to compare that to last year, last year's was £170 so it's £10 more expensive this year and the value of products inside last year was £485 so we've lost £30 of value. Now inside this year's there are 24 products and 18 are full size which is pretty good for an advent calendar but last year there were 24 products and 21 were full sized so we've also got fewer full size products but we won't judge just yet let's see what's inside the calendar first. So let's open the box then on the back it has all the products listed with ingredients as always and this is the advent calendar it's like a stack of presents. Like, I actually really like this design, it's so cool. Now, when I saw the launch pictures for this, I wasn't sure whether it was just gonna be like lots of little boxes in a bigger box and they just kind of stacked them for the picture, but it's actually a stack of presents, like that's what it looks like. So it's gonna be one of those where we have to spin it to find the day because there's something on each side. But yeah, super Christmassy. So if you are interested in picking up this advent calendar, it is linked in my description down below, along with every other advent calendar that I found. But without further ado, let's dive into the calendar. So day number one is at the bottom here. So these are actually little doors. So they just bend back like this. And inside we have the products all tissue paper wrapped, just like this. I like it when calendars also wrap the products because it's like we're unwrapping a little gift every day in December. So in day number one, we have a full-size lipstick. We're starting off very strong. So this is a Maximal Matte Lipstick in the shade Sweet Deal 666. Ooh, that is really nice. I've never used this one before. Like, I have a lot of MAC lipsticks, but I don't have this one. So this is a silky matte lipstick. It is £25, full size, and it's described as a mid-tone nudie pink. This is a very everyday colour for me. I really like this shade. So this is described on the website as our iconic matte lipstick is now bigger and better, but with more colour, more comfort, and more wear. The matte formula you know and love is upgraded to a silkier, smoother texture in pigment-rich hues from iconic to new. Glide on for maxed out colour with 12 hour wear. That sounds fab, doesn't it? It also contains organic cocoa and shea butter for all day moisture. It's a comfortable formula, non-feathering and non-bleeding for 12 hours and it's non-flaking and non-fading for 12 hours. So, I mean, that's what I look for in a lipstick. You want something that you can put on in the morning and it's gonna last all day rather than having to keep topping it up. So yeah, fab. So day one, a full size product and it's a lipstick. Perfect. Day number two is in the middle on this side. And we have something else wrapped up. And ooh, we have a Squirts Plumping Gloss Stick in the shade Like Squirt 15. This is so nice. <gasps> I love the color of this packaging. This is gorgeous. <gasps> ooh, that looks so nice. So again, this is a full size product. This is worth 22 pounds. I'm not gonna roll this up fully because it's a non-retractable packaging. It's very much like the Kylie Cosmetics Lip Butter Balm packaging. So this is actually lime green. That's crazy. Ooh, oh my goodness. It actually is when it comes out. <gasps> I thought that would like be clear or something, <laughs> but that's actually lime green. I mean, I kind of like it. I'm here for this. This is cool. So this is described as a lime green, definitely. It says it looks like a lip balm, shines like a gloss, explore lustrous pops of sheer color with our plumping gloss stick. It's a non-sticky lightweight formula that nourishes the lips and glides on to create a glossy wet lip look. It's not like really bold. It's um quite subtle, but still, yeah, it's definitely green. I really like that. That's something really different, isn't it? Okay, day three is a big one at the top. And we have a little pot of something. Oh my goodness, that is tiny. This is a very, 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 very small pot of the Hyper Real Skin Canvas Balm. We actually got a mini of this in last year's advent calendar, but it was bigger than this. This is tiny. It's described as a deluxe sample and it's four mil. That is tiny. Why is it so small? So the full size is 100 mil, which is 104 pounds. This is around about the four pounds mark, but why so small? It definitely wasn't this small last year. Anyway, this is the Skin Canvas Balm. It's a moisturizing cream that strengthens and protects the skin's barrier. It's smooth skin while soothing and preventing the look of skin redness for supple, 
Petal Soft Skin with a Healthy Looking Glow. On the back of this, if you can read it because it's so small, it says it's formulated with Pro 4 Power Infusion Matrix, Japanese Peony Extract, Niacinamide, Hyaluronic Acid and Ceramides. So lots of really good ingredients. It is a nice product. Just, I don't understand why it's so small. Why could we not have had the, the mini one from last year? So at least that is one of the six minis we're getting this year. Okay, day four is right next door to it. So day number four also feels like a very small pot. <gasps> we have an eyeshadow. So this is a single eyeshadow in the shade Swiss Chocolate. It's a matte eyeshadow. Let's have a look. Oh, that looks so nice. Gorgeous, gorgeous colour. So this is a full size and it's worth £20. I do really like the eyeshadows from MAC. We usually get three or four eyeshadows and the usually the shades that we can use together to create an eye look. So if that's what we're getting this year, fingers crossed, this would be one that I put into the crease and maybe it'll like underneath like a liner. This is described as a muted reddish brown. It's a highly pigmented powder that applies evenly and blends well. Yeah, you can't go wrong with an eyeshadow from MAC. Gorgeous. Okay, day number five is at the bottom, and we have something long and thin. This feels like some sort of pencil, but it doesn't look long enough. It is, but it's a mini. Why is this not full size? Last year we got lip liners that were full size. This isn't a full size one. So anyway, this is the lip pencil in the shade of Spice. I don't think I actually have this one. Oh, that is so nice. Oh, I wonder if that'll go perfectly with the lipstick on day one. Mm, slightly different shade, I could maybe make that work. But yeah, this is very small. I don't think I've actually ever finished a full size lip liner, but still, like, I expect to see the full size in here. So this is the shade Spice, which is described as a pink cinnamon stick. It's an ultra precise lip liner with a creamy formula in a wide range of shades, designed for shaping, lining, or filling in lips. It's an iconic product that has so many MAC lip liners, but not this shade, which is nice. So something different for me. It's a shame it's not full size like last year, but still a really nice product and still a decent size. Like that will last me a long time. Okay, day number six is on the other side. So another tube. And we have a lip glass in the shade Spite. Oh, this is a really nice shade. These are very like similar shades, like the three lip products we've got so far, apart from obviously the green one. That is really nice. This shade is described as a muted plum top brown. Um, this looks like it's full size as well. This is £22. This is gorgeous. This has enough pigment as well that you can wear it on its own as just a lip colour. Or you can wear it like over another lipstick to give it a bit more shine. I'd probably wear it like over this one I'm wearing right now. Yeah, like I could probably wear it over this. Should we try it on? So I'm actually currently wearing the Kylie Liquid Lipstick. Ooh. Yes, it's a little bit darker than the one I'm wearing right now. That is really nice. So you see it just adds a little bit of a gloss. That is really nice though. Gorgeous colour. It also works to smooth and condition the lips, which is nice. Okay, day number seven, back around the other side. And we have, I feel like another lipstick maybe. It is, it's another full size lipstick. And this is the Maximal lipstick in the shade Top. So this is a much warmer colour than the previous one. So again, this is full size, worth £25. And this is described as a muted reddish taupe brown. So yeah, still kind of very similar shades we're getting so far, but very wearable shades rather than like bright colours. On to date number eight. And we have a classic product. This is fab. This is the Prep and Prime for the lips. This is so good. I absolutely love this product. This is a full size as well and it's 22 pounds. So this is a colour-free lip primer that adds light moisture, smooths and refines. It says it reduces lipstick feathering, provides immediate hydration and it's oil-free. Yeah, I really like to apply this as like the first step of my makeup. And then by the time I finish my makeup and I'm ready to apply my lipstick, my lips are so soft and ready for the lipstick to be applied. It's nice to just use it as a lip balm as well. This is just, it's a really nice product. So it's nice to see that because we've got so many lip products so far. It's nice that we can condition the lips as well. So day number nine is this really long drawer. We got a big product in day nine. Looks like a pencil. And it looks bigger than the previous one. Is it a pencil? And we have an eyeliner. So this is the Colour Excess Glide or Die Gel Pencil Eyeliner. And this is a black shade. This is perfect. I remember last year we got the silver and the gold, which was really pretty, but for me not as usable as a black. So this is a full size product. It's worth 22 pounds and it's described as a carbon black shade. And it says, with 12 hour waterline and 24 hour plus lid wear, discover smooth glide application and saturated colour in a single swipe. So yeah, you can wear it for 12 hours on your waterline. That's pretty impressive, isn't it? 
It's waterproof, transfer proof, smudge resistant and safe for contact lens wearers as well. Yeah, this sounds fab. Um, I have used these kind of liners before, nice and creamy. And I love that it's waterproof as well, especially for the waterline. Amazing. Okay, date number 10 is around this side. And we have another little pot. Could this be another eyeshadow? It is, we have an eyeshadow. Oh, wow, that is gorgeous. Oh my goodness, that is such a nice shade. So this is the Frost eyeshadow in Too Too Good. And it's like a sparkly gold, bronze kind of shade. Oh, that is beautiful. <gasps> what a nice eyeshadow. That is like perfect for Christmas as well. Like I love to apply a bit of shimmer on my finished eye look. That is gorgeous. So again, this is full size and it's worth £20. And it's a duo chrome gold pink. This is so nice. Yeah, so this is probably one that I could either apply, well, you can apply it on its own. It's a nice, like, pinky gold shade. Um, or apply it in, like, the corner of your eye just to give your eye a bit of a pop. Um, I like to apply it over my lid, not in the crease, when I finish my eye look, just to give it a little bit of, like, shimmer. That is really nice. So happy with that one. On today 11 at the bottom. And here we have... A Powder Kiss Liquid Lip Colour in the shade Over the Top. So we also got one of these last year in like a red shade. There was a lot more red last year, a lot more Christmas here. This is definitely more in keeping with the shade of the products we've received in this calendar so far. Definitely like an everyday colour. Very nice colour. Very similar though. So this is a full size product worth £25. And it's described as a mid-tone dirty nude. Yeah, pretty much. They're all quite similar shades. But this is a weightless moisture matte liquid lipstick. It's a soft focus colour with a whipped soft matte finish and hydrating 10 hour wear. It's a conditioning formula. It's fade resistant, non-settling, non-creasing, non-flaking, non-drying and provides immediate hydration up to 10 hours. That sounds fab, doesn't it? Definitely more wearable for me this year, but not as Christmassy. Date number 12 is around the other side. And we have a little skincare product. This is the Hyper Real Serumizer. Skin Balancing Hydration Serum. Again, another mini, 4ml. I think this is the same size that we got last year. And again, it says it's formulated with Pro 4 Power Infusion Matrix with Japanese peanut extract, niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, and ceramides. So the same key ingredients as the balm. Now, the full size of this is £60. It says it's £20 per 10ml. This is 4ml, so that makes this around £8. And this is a serum moisturiser hybrid. It's a breathable formula that improves skin texture and strengthens the skin barrier to reveal pestle soft skin for a makeup ready canvas. So it's super hydrating on the skin, has a little pump dispenser. Um, yeah, not really a lot in there, but at least you can try it with makeup and see if we like it before buying the full size. Day 13 is a big one around this side and we have something in a packet. Is this a sleep mask? I think they have a sleep mask. Oh, it's padded. So we have a sleep mask and I've never actually had one like this before because it's actually padded. So it's like a satiny material. It's not like super soft. It's not really that flexible either. You'll see on the close-ups. But yeah, this is a sleep mask. Is this on the website? Let's have a look. No, so I can't find anything on the website. On the back of the box, it just says sleep mask. So this is this year's accessory. Um, It doesn't feel as soft as other ones I've received in calendars. And yeah, it is a little bit padded, so I'm not sure how I feel about that. Yeah, it says MAC on the front. It looks quite nice. It's in keeping with this year's theme with the gold writing. Uh, last year we got a little mirror. I think mirrors were just doing the rounds last year. And yeah, this, this year we've got a sleep mask. Yeah, not really very exciting. And I don't know, it's just, just a sleep mask. I think something different would have been nice, but okay. Let's move on to date 14. So in date 14, we have another lipstick. And this is a full size. This is a luster glass lipstick in the shade Beam There Done That. Ooh. Oh, that's so nice. This is like a nice berry warm shade. I've not got this shade either. So this is also a full size. It's worth £25. And the shade Beam There Done That is described as a rosy plump pink. Yeah, this is really nice. It's a raspberry seed and organic extra virgin olive oil infused lipstick formula. Gives you a lustrous glossy finish and up to eight hour wear that provides immediate moisture. Yeah, that sounds fab. I mean, I've got some of the luster glass lipsticks anyway, uh, but this is really nice and I don't have this shade. So we've still got like a nice warm wintry shade. Perfect. Date 15 is just underneath. This is a small product. And we have a lip glass in clear. Again, this is a very small one compared to last year. We got a full size last year, but this is just a little mini one. This is seven mil. So the full size is 22 pounds. This is just a mini. And this is a unique clear lip gloss that can create a glass-like finish or a subtle sheen. It's designed to be worn on its own over lip pencil or lipstick and it's the perfect product for creating shine that lasts. It contains jojoba oil to help soften and condition the lips. And you only need a very small amount to cover the entire lips. 
So yeah, nice clear lip gloss. You can't really go wrong with that. You know, you can pop it on top of other lipsticks or lip products or wear it on its own just for a bit of, bit of shine. On to date 16. And ooh, is this another eyeshadow? It is. Oh, another shimmery one. So this is a frost eyeshadow in the shade Jingle Ball Bronze. So this is another shimmery one. Not quite as shimmery as the previous one, but like a nice bronzy shimmery shade. Oh, that's really nice as well. It is actually quite similar to the previous one, but the previous one has a lot more like sparkle and glitter in it. Still a nice Christmassy kind of colour. Again, this is full size and it's £20. And this must be like a limited edition shade because it's not actually coming up with anything on the website. Yeah, so this is actually a Velux Pearl Small Eyeshadow in Jingle Ball Bronze and it has rich colour payoff according to this. And it's a limited edition shade as well, so just around for Christmas then. Yeah, nice. Day 17 is back around at this side. This one looks a little bit bigger. And we have some brow gel. So this is the Prolocked Brow Gel. That applicator looks so different. And it's green as well. So this is full size and this is worth £24. It says create customisable brow looks with our Brow Hold Eyebrow Gel. It's a universal clear colour that gives a strong yet flexible hold with all day wear and a flake free finish. I've never seen a brush like that before. So it's like a silicone brush. And it's their most powerful brow gel yet. Yeah, I always use brow gel to set my brows once I've finished styling them. Uh, so yeah, I will definitely use this one. I previously used their other brow gel, but this looks this looks different, this looks better. So I wonder how it compares. On to day 18, and in day 18, we have a mini lipstick. This is so cute. Oh. So this is another Lustre Glass lipstick in the shade PDA. Ooh, a much like deeper shade. So PDA is described as a bricky red shade, which I agree with. I wonder why this is the mini. Very cute. But yeah, just a little teeny one. Day 19, and again, something quite small. And we have another mini pencil. So this is another one of the lip pencils in the shade Whirl. So again, we actually got the full size of this one last year. This is a gorgeous shade, I use this so often. And it works well with so many different lip products. So again, this is an ultra precise lip liner. And Whirl is described as a dirty rose shade. Yeah, it's definitely a bit more pinkier than the other one. But yeah, it's fab, I absolutely love this one. I know it's definitely a fave. So I think a lot of people will be happy with that one. Date number 20. Okay, this one feels a little bit bigger. And in 20, we have another lip glass. This is in the shade Oh Baby. Is this one that we got last year? This looks very familiar. So a nice, like, bronzy, sparkly shade. So I've just checked on my website, and we did actually get this shade last year. So this exact product last year, and I actually still have this one. It is a really nice product. So this shade is described as a golden bronze flecked with sparkling glitter. It's full size worth £22. Yeah, this is definitely perfect for the winter for a bit of a sparkly lip um, and this will also go very well with the rest of the lip products so if you wanted to wear this on top of a lip product that we've already received just add a little bit more sparkle and shine that will go nicely day 21 is round the back and it's another small pot and it's another eyeshadow this is a Velux pearl eyeshadow in the shade all that glitters this one is described on the website as a Velux pearl eyeshadow but it's not uh, so this is all that glitters and this is another kind of like shimmery shade. Oh, it's so creamy. Yeah, it's definitely not glittery. Really nice shade though. And yeah, this isn't actually on the list on the website, which is strange. Um, but yeah, really nice shade. Day number 22 is right next to it. Uh, this one feels a little bit heavier as well. Is this another lipstick maybe? It is, another full size lipstick. So that's one, two, three, four. This is the fourth full size lipstick. This is another luster glass lipstick in the shade Business Casual. So we're thinking like an everyday nude shade maybe? No. Okay, that looks very similar to the previous one. Okay, no, that one's a little bit more pinky. So Business Casual is described as a warm red nude. And again, full size, £25. It's got the Raspberry Seed and Organic Extra Virgin Olive Oil Infusion. Uh, yeah, looks nice. Nice and wintry shade again. Okay, so day 23 is this big one at the top here. Let's see if we get a bigger product maybe. So in 23, we have a little mini of the Prep and Prime Fix Plus Spray. So a very small one again, this is only 13ml, and this is a Skin Refresher Finishing Mist. So this is the original setting spray, this is far by, I absolutely love this one. It says, prep, set and refresh your makeup with our iconic setting spray. This artist approved multitasker is the ultimate beauty hack before and after makeup. Now with a fine mist spritz. Yeah, this is fab. I really like this product, I've used this for a long time. It is only a mini, so this won't last too long, but it's nice to see it in here. Okay, so that was day 23, so day 24 is actually this little one on the top. So let's have a look. Oh my goodness, that's so cool. 
Did you see that? Look, it literally like, it lifts the product up, like presents the product to you. So we have here a full size Mac Stack Mascara. This is the shade Black Stack. So this is an endlessly buildable, non-clumpy mascara that stacks on infinite layers of volume and length. It lasts for 24 hours. Um, it's clump resistant, weightless and non-flaking as well. Yeah, this is a really nice mascara. I do really like the one for this one. I like that it's very kind of precise at the end. You can get right into the roots. Um, it's a classic mascara. We seem to have received a lot of this since it's launched. I don't think I've actually purchased one yet. I think it's just been in boxes and calendars and stuff. Um, so not the most exciting. We also got this in last year's calendar as well. But yeah, full size mascara. So that is everything inside the MAC Advent Calendar for 2024. So to recap, we got four full-sized lipsticks. So these are worth £100 altogether. Two of them were the Maximal lipsticks in the shade Sweet Deal and Taupe. And we got two of the Luster Glass lipsticks in the shade Been There, Done That and Business Casual. We also got a mini of the Luster Glass lipstick as well in the shade PDA. So cute. We also got a lot of other lip products as well. So we had two of the lip glasses in Oh Baby and Spite. We had two very mini lip liners in the shade Spice and Whirl. We had another lip gloss but the clear one. We had the Powder Kiss lip colour in the shade Over the Top. A prep and prime to prep the lips. And we also had the Like Squirt Plumping Gloss Stick in the green which was so different. For eyes we had the four eyeshadows with an eyeliner and then a mascara. We got the brow gel, the fix spray and then two skincare products. We got the serumizer and the skin canvas balm. And then of course we had the really random sleep mask. <laughs> so overall I still think it is a very nice calendar. I think we're definitely getting our money's worth with the products that we're getting even though there aren't as many full sizes as last year. Um, obviously it isn't as exciting as last year. But if you didn't get last year's and this is your first MAC advent calendar then you don't need to compare it to last year really. It's whether you like the products or not. Personally for me, I prefer this one to last year's just because the colours and the shades of the products are definitely more wearable for me. I'll definitely use those lipstick shades, all the lip product shades, um, and all the eyeshadow shades as well. I remember last year was one of the colours a little bit too dark, I think, and I, I actually haven't reached for that this year. Uh, whereas these ones, I can definitely reach for these and use these straight away. Again, lip liners, they could have been bigger because they were full size last year, but really nice shades and they all kind of go together as well, so we can definitely use the lip products with the eyeshadows to create a full makeup look but they've definitely included a lot of their iconic products a lot of faves and even though the minis are mini they're still decent enough to try out and see if you actually like them and can work with them in your makeup routine i'm uh, not really impressed with this mask it just seems a bit random like it's very stiff can you see it doesn't really move um, it's padded as well so i'm not really sure how i'm going to feel about this i'm not going to put this on right now obviously because i've got makeup on but yeah it just doesn't feel the softest it doesn't even feel like there's anything in it. it's not like a cooling one i don't think it's padded yeah, a bit random. I think I preferred the mirror last year. It made more sense because obviously a mirror can come in handy when you're putting your makeup on. But the sleep mask, you can't really use when you've got your makeup on because you'd be going to bed. It doesn't really fit. <laughs> I feel like a lot more thought has definitely gone into the packaging this year than it last year. I feel like last year just wasn't as creative. Like I did like the snowflake in the middle, but the rest of it just wasn't very creative. It was just, you know, you just open them up. Whereas I really like this design. I think this is very pretty. It definitely looks like a nice stack of presents that you can keep out in December. And yeah, I love the final the final day as well, how it like lifts the gift up to you. I think that's really nice. Um, yeah, definitely one of my favourite designs from Max so far, if not my favourite. That is everything in the calendar. Those are my thoughts on it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Let me know if there are any products which you think they should have included and if there's any that they should have not included as well. Um, and what would you have liked to see if you don't like the sleep mask? Because I know mirrors are a bit repetitive. We had a lot of mirrors last year. But what else could they put in? That wasn't a sleep mask. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little unboxing. If you did, as always, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you go. Don't forget to hit subscribe and click the bell to be notified next time I post a video so you don't miss out on any advent content. And I'll see you soon for another video. Baby, this year it's just gonna be you and me. Hang by the fire and chill. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about